Error codes are nothing new, they are the reason why we are able to diagnose, fix and troubleshoot hundreds of thousands of errors, but they may not make sense to the common person. My name is Idullah, you are watching Candid Technology, and in this video we are talking about how you can fix error code 224003. Error code 224003 can happen when you're trying to play a video in your web browser. Uh, that's the most primary thing. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, actually launch up our web browser. I'm using Edge to uh, demonstrate how this works. So you can follow along on a browser that you have. But uh, this should work on just about any browser. So the first thing is to check our internet connection. Go ahead and restart your router um, and just run a speed test. I'm using fast.com for this but you can literally use any other uh, browser or website. Just make sure that you have a working internet connection. Once you've verified that, uh, now it's time to check VPN connections. So if you have a VPN connection that you're using, try uh, disabling it. And if you're not using a VPN connection, try enabling one to see if you can access the site or the content or the service without uh, either masking or without masking your actual IP address and that will tell you what you can do uh, in accordance because so if you're trying to access something that's geolocated or blocked in your region uh, of course you'll need a VPN and then if you're using a VPN with a server where the content is blocked then you'll once again need to disable it to switch back to your region if that makes sense. All right, next up, uh, we're going to disable extensions. Now, sometimes extensions can cause conflicts with websites in the sense that they won't let them run properly. To uh, address this, I'm just going to go ahead and click on this extension icon and then click on manage extensions. As you can see, I have a fair bit of extensions installed and enabled. The first one that I'm going to disable is my ad blocker. Why? Because a lot of websites, as soon as they detect an ad blocker on your system, stop working as they should. So try disabling your ad blocker or a better uh, way would be to disable all of these extensions using uh, this slider right here or a switch or a check mark or whatever your browser has. Disable all of those extensions, reload the website to see if it works and if it does, try uh, enabling extensions one by one until you find the one that's causing problems. Then you can either look for an alternative or keep that extension off. Moving on, uh, we are going to disable hardware acceleration on your browser. Now, this is not the best way to resolve uh, an issue because if you disable hardware acceleration, chances are your uh, web browser will become laggy. But if you really need to access a page or a watch a video in a pinch, this can work. So what we're going to do is head over to this menu and then click on settings. And uh, here, what we're going to do is we're just going to go to accessibility, I believe. So system and performance, we're gonna go click on system and performance and you will see this uh, tab here which says use graphics acceleration when available which is basically a reworded uh, phrase for hardware acceleration. Disable this, restart your browser and come back and try launching the site or uh, service again. Next up, if nothing else works, uh, one of the best ways to get uh, issues like these resolved is to simply reset or uh, sort of uh, delete all of your browser data including cache cookies and things like that to do that we're going to head to this three three dots once again and then go to settings head to privacy search and services scroll down and you will see clear browsing data um, of course this may be called something else in your browser but the point is that we're going to delete uh, cookies, cached images and files, uh, autofill form data, site permissions and other things like that. So um, you can select everything. So in the time range, go ahead and select all time. Make sure that you have uh, checked all of these boxes and then click the clear now button. Let the browser do its thing. It will most likely restart and when it does, uh, the error should be gone. The last step is to just check for browser updates. If this is an issue that's uh, happening because of a bug in your web browser, chances are uh, developers will have released a sort of update or a patch to fix this. Now, most browsers automatically update themselves, so you don't really have to go and check for manual updates. But just in case you want to, here's how you do it on Edge. So you click these three dots, head over to settings. And in here, go and click on the last option that says about Microsoft Edge 
and it will automatically start checking for updates it tells me that my edge is up to date yours may not be so and if it's not just go ahead and update the browser and you should get the error fixed if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candidate technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video